Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Zexio back with another video. In today's video, I thought I would use some mobile gameplay. Let me know if you'd like to see more mobile gameplay. I'm also teaming up with Snapdragon Creations for this video, so check him out in the link in the description. Now, as you guys know, the furry community withholds a few bad apples, like almost every other community. But the furry community really tops it off, and at this point, probably holds a world record for the most predators a community can hold. But just like stains on some boxer shorts, some stains kind of show more than others, am I right? Yes, that's a 28 year old furry TikToker asking a teenager if they want to see their poop stains. But two main people in the furry community stick out like a sore thumb after trying to catch a fish in Red Dead Redemption 2, Honey Zen and Didi Live Studios. Now I'm sure you've heard of those names before since they have a pretty bad rep. I mean, here's what Didi Live Studios, aka Gen Nero said to a teenager. I mean, if you want to keep talking, we can make it. And you're obsessed with Devante the way you were harassing for him to comment. Bruh. Really, you're going to bring Devante into this? Really, bruh? And here you go, glutton for punishment. And really, to be honest, I could talk on here all day and all night if I wanted to. Your brain don't connect well. And your 13 year old brain would never comprehend what I'm thinking. DD Live Studios and Honey Zen aren't only known for literally being associated with an actual convicted child predator called Human Arzom, but also having him in their streams where they threaten to kidnap and torture children. Or better yet, how the f would you like it if I came around your kid and hijacked your kid? How would you like it if I tortured your kid, bro? Also, Honey Zen and Didi have some sort of obsession with adding people into Instagram groups and harassing them and calling them degrading names, but then leaving after being roasted to high heavens as they have some dude name calling you as he holds a Mario toy down the camera. You really couldn't make this stuff up. Honey Zen added me into a group where she was trying to name call me, but she got utterly roasted, then had an absolute meltdown. She's allegedly also responsible for the suicide of a young boy after she did the same to him a few years ago, but it's still an allegation, there's no proof. They also call themselves fandom protectors, but they're literally disliked by almost the entire fandom and always get kicked out of groups and discord servers. I mean, imagine calling yourself a furry protector when you threaten to kidnap children and do horrific things with a convicted predator. But of course, to them, they can never do any wrong, and when they get utterly exposed, they also have an excuse on standby, waiting, that magically fixes their wrongdoings, like the time Dee Dee and Honey Zen were caught being friends with a convicted predator and even giving him the usernames of teens for him to groom. They also said age is just a number. And let me also talk about the fact y'all say that I said so-called quote, age is just a number. First off, I would never say that. I wouldn't even say that type of stuff. That's not even me. That's out of my norm. That's literally out of my freaking norm. Like, I don't even say that type of stuff. Age is just, age is just a number. As I say, age is just a number. That's enough of me ranting. I'm gonna pass it to my homie Snapdragon. Hello, everybody. My name is Snapdragon Creations, and I'm about to show you some clips, and then we're gonna talk right after. Well, I already know how old you are and what you look like, so you might as well shut the fudge up. Because I will be a savage. Even more. Keep this mess up. Keep it up. Oh, should I say something to trigger your PTSD? Because I will. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. It's not even worth it. It's not even freaking worth it. 
Because I'm gonna make it suffer even worse. I'm gonna make it suffer even worse than that. You keep talking, y'all. Sh- I'm gonna smack y'all with the hand of God, and I'm not playing. Oh yeah, go cry about it. You and your brother are a bunch of crybabies. So shut the f- up. Y'all drag y'all said y'all y'all drag y'all sales into this. Sh- and then again, that. at the same time, I'm gonna say this. You motherfuckers keep my motherfucker name out of y'all mouths. See, the more y'all talk about me, the more freaking attention I get. I suggest you shut the fuck up. And I would also like to apologize to Snapdragon for putting his name in my mouth. I would like to say no, sorry. No, no, see, see, he's trying to get sympathy. No, don't pull the sympathy card now after you put my name in my, your mouth multiple freaking times. At this point, I'm just going to back off. That's all I'm going to do, because I don't want to be in the drama. At this point, at this point, we already won the freaking uh, argument at this point. So, anyways, I'm not having nothing to say to him at this point. Yeah. I have nothing to say so to him. I have nothing to say to him. Why, any of them motherfuckers. I have nothing to say to them. Say to them. That, that's why I'm just going to back off at this point, because I don't want any more drama. Agreed. And just apologize. Let me just say this, simple and quick. Honey Zen has harassed several minors because they quote unquote harassed her friend Gennaro or otherwise known as DD Live Studios. Now they both harassed my brother during a live stream on Instagram. And I specifically remember after that live stream, my brother called me crying because Honey Zen in fact caused my brother to have a PTSD. PTSD attack. My brother was afraid of her at that time. Dee Dee was acting like he was going to send someone to harass him by saying, I know what you look like and I know what you sound like. And after Honey Zen said that she would cause my brother Landon to have a PTSD attack, Dee Dee said, I'm going to make it suffer even worse. Why would they go out of their way to make my brother suffer? I don't know because they they are both idiots. They have, they both have no respect for my brother's severe PTSD. He comes from a very terrible home. He has been beaten and yelled for the majority of his life. And they said they would make it suffer even worse. Honey Jan once told me to grow up and act my age, yet I don't go out and harass children. These people are psychos going after children. Now they can't blame their mental disabilities for their actions you can still be an asshole and autistic at the same time any unscripted final thoughts well the one reason why i didn't want to be their friend is because they were still being friends with a pedophile a known sex offender this man is a sex offender and they keep saying that it's in the past stop bringing up his past and a sex offender, a convicted, convicted. And they wanna say he doesn't do that anymore. They wanna say he doesn't do that anymore. But as far as I can see, once a pedo, always a pedo. And that's all I have to say about this. Thanks for that Snapdragon. I highly recommend that you guys check him out. I'll tag him in the description. Anyway, if you guys liked today's video, please smack that juicy red button. And I'ma hide before Honeyzen tries eating me.